today's store we be looking at. Okay, my man uh, Raleigh from Fish Keeping Jamaica wanted me to do uh, a little look at my fish room. Look up here, we've got uh, a lot of swordtail guppies. This is my 65 gallon show tank. I just fed them live baby brine shrimp, yet you would think that I never fed them at all. And when I fed them, I fed them a lot. If you can see right here, I have a lot of fire red shrimp. A lot. So it's, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good looking, aren't they? All right, but first I want to show you where the next fish room is going to be because I'm adding a complete fish room here very shortly. Okay, this room obviously has some boxes and stuff in it. I've been in this house just for a few months, so I don't have everything organized. There's an LED light right over there. Uh, let me, uh, has it been on that? I haven't opened up yet, but I will. And I'm gonna get this complete room uh, refloored in vinyl flooring so I can have fish and water in here. As you can see, it's pretty good size. I'll be able to put a lot of fish aquariums in this room. But you need fish aquariums to put in here, don't you? Okay, here are fish aquariums. There's three 20s that I picked up uh, on Saturday at Petco with a $1 per gallon sale. And here are two racks. I'm gonna need a lot more racks, a lot more aquariums for their room, but this is a good first stop, isn't it? So there we go. And now I'm gonna bring you to the wonders of the guppies. Well, before I show you the guppies, um, I haven't cleaned off the, uh, I haven't cleaned off the, um, the glass here primarily because you can see I have very pregnant females. These are Amica Splendens. I have three males. The females are just ready to drop. I mean, look how fat they are. They just got a huge feeding of baby brine shrimp. And so uh, I don't want to mess around with this aquarium at all. Just let them do what they do. All right, let's get to the guppies. Okay, this is an interesting guppy aquarium, mainly because they never come forward, even when I have food. They just hide away back here. And these are Roebuck Reds. And you say, well, don't all your Roebuck Reds do that? No, nah, no, wait till you see another one. Here's uh, some sword tails. Here's a cross that I'm doing. And this cross, is uh, half gold cobra uh, red with a swordtail female. It's a couple swordtail females. This is what I have. This is the, uh, these are the babies that have come up. I have to set up more aquariums of them. Here's some swordtail guppies. And uh, over here, here are some Roebuck Reds, and there's a lot of fry in this tank, as you can see. A lot of fry. But look at this swordtail tank. I mean, it is... I've got to pull a bunch out and put them in that 65 gallon, because I mean, I probably have. I mean, I'm loaded up with fry. And, uh, I mean, this aquarium, for whatever reason, has been really, really uh, productive. All right, look what we have here. We have some sword tails right there. And some more sword tails here. It's really strong. Well, Raleigh, thanks for uh, showing off. Let me show off my fish room. This is Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob. And come and subscribe. Subscribe to Raleigh and all that good stuff. All right, you have a great day.